This is an updated tutorial for the Mi Fit app. This is version 3.2. I have the Mi Band 2 device. So we're going to go ahead and launch the app, which you obtained from your Play Store or your App Store. The search for Mi Band or Mi Fit. The first time it connects, it will reach out and pair to your device via Bluetooth. So make sure Bluetooth is enabled on your phone or tablet. And the first time after it connects, you'll likely receive a couple firmware updates. Your device will receive a couple firmware updates and they could take a while. So just make sure your device stays next to your phone or tablet until everything's connected and all the updates are received. Now, it opens by default. I think it opens to the last page you were at, but the first time you open it, it will come up to the status page. And you see at the bottom, you have status, activities, and profile. The status page is not real detailed. It just shows you anything you're tracking, anything you've configured to track. The most important one is the profile page, but we'll go from left to right. So the status page, it shows I'm connected. And every time you open it, it tries to sync. It shows my last night's sleep, my heart rate, and the last recorded weight. Of course, it has no way of reaching out and finding out my weight. And if you set up any activity tracking, it, I have not um, successfully met my goals with this device for quite a while. So it'll show your last achievements. So if I click on the sleep bar, I get a lot more details. It shows how I fared against other users. It asks how I feel today and I can record it. I feel good. And then I go back and now take a look at this. If I click in the band and hold it, it shows details about each deep sleep or light sleep period, the time frames. So I think the sleep tracking is really good with this device. I'm very happy with it. And I have used other devices. The heart rate, in settings, I do not have it continuously checking my heart rate. I don't want that and I don't want to wear my battery. If I had a heart condition or I was like a super exercise enthusiast, I might turn that on. But at any time, I'll put this next on my wrist, any time you can get your rate by just hitting measure. My last one was 60. So it just reminds you to keep it close to your wrist. It tracks it. Now I'm talking, so it's probably not going to be 60. And it couldn't read it. Let me try again. Sixty-three. So, I just have the heart rate set. I measure it manually occasionally. And the weight, you can actually add an additional entry and just change it and hit OK. So that's pretty much it for the status page. Not a whole lot of details. One thing I forgot to mention, if you've updated your app and you see down at the bottom of the blue, it's stuck at connecting. What I had to do is I went to my device Bluetooth settings and I unpaired it. And then I launched the updated app and it connected fine and all my data was there. So I didn't lose data, but it couldn't connect until I unpaired it. The activities page, this seems real rudimentary but there's a whole lot more activities I'll show you in a minute under profiles are called behavior tagging. So say I'm going to be on the treadmill. I start it. It counts down, go. And now I'm actually, I'm on the treadmill. When I'm done, hold and press pause and then you can resume it in case you just took a break or end it. Now it's warning me my distance was too short to record and that's fine with me. So that's basically, it's just the main activities that you're going to want to do. You can manually track. Now, by default, the band does track 
steps anyway, so I don't know if you need the walking one. Now the main tab, the last one, is profile. This is where all the action is, pretty much. So it shows the device. You tap on the device, you see more information. I do not allow it to unlock my, my phone. So I have that off. Incoming call, I do want to receive those, their, those alerts. So I have it on and I have it vibrate 10 seconds after the first ring which is very, very helpful. I can keep my phone off and that's quite a lengthy vibrate, I'll see it. And show contact information. So this tiny little screen shows the phone number and name and it shows the name programmed in my contacts. Now I believe, I don't know if, it, if it's not in my contacts, I do know at least at least shows the number, but I'm very happy with that. Alarm, you can set an alarm to go off on your band. You just turn one on or edit it and make your own. App alerts. I do not want to receive all these buzzings that I got a new email. That drives me crazy, but you can change it all you want. Okay, turn on to view alerts. See, I have to turn it on there and then I can configure it. Idle alert. I do have this turned on from 8 to 5. I have it configured to let me know if I've been sitting for more than an hour. Click on more, and it's the, the top is the same items. It's just these last three. I, I have it turned on to let me know when I receive a text message. I have SMS, SMS alerts turned on. And again, I show the contact information, which will actually display on the little band. You don't actually see the text message. You just get an alert that you got a text message, and it shows the sender's name. Goal notifications, I have this off. I can occasionally check my phone. I don't want to be bugged with alerts. I'm very busy during the day. I have do not disturb turned on. What that means is from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m., if I lift my wrist, it's not going to light up. So if I'm sleeping at night and I move my arm a certain way, I don't want to light my whole room up. It's actually very bright. So I have it turned off from 8 to 6 a.m. So that's the band alerts. Now, find the band, very easy. It buzzes, that's all it does. Discoverable, I do not want my band discoverable by other devices, so I have that off. Band settings, this is very important. You're choosing the items that are going to appear every time, every time you tap the band. I have time, my steps, and my battery. It's all I have. Let me show you where that's configured. See, I have only time, steps, and battery. So I just put the key things I want to keep track of during the day real quick. I have enabled if I lift my wrist, it will, the display will come on. And also I have it turned on if I rotate my wrist a certain way, it'll come on. It's pretty easy. So if you have your arm down, you lift up your wrist to look at it, it turns on. If my arm's already up and I rotate it, like the look at my watch, it comes on. I have the heart rate assistant turned off. You can turn it on. It does reduce your battery life. And here it shows your firmware version and it shows your Bluetooth address. And this will take you to a little tutorial, very, very basic, how to put it in your band. That shows how to lift it. I have that enabled and measure the heart rate. Nice little tutorial. And you can unpair it. Now the time format, let's go back up to that. Even though it shows military time on mine, it does display 12 hour time. So I have selected, I wanna see the time and the date.
So that's pretty much it for this page. Let's go back. So that was under Mi Band 2. That's where all those settings were. All your setup, what you want to see on your device, how you want it to behave when you lift your wrist, and so forth. That's all under Profile, and you actually tap the band. So you don't know that. It doesn't say click here for settings. So you have to tap the band to get to that huge list of setup items. Now, here's where you set up your activity goals. I don't have much set. I just have 6,000 steps. And you're supposed to do 1,000 or 10,000. Weight goal, I don't have a weight goal. Um, friends, I don't. You can set up friends there. Add accounts. You can connect your device to other apps, WeChat, Google Fit, and so forth. Wake up notifications. I do not want to be woke up. I don't want to see it. This will remind you to view your sleep info in the morning. If I want it, I'll go look at it. Activity alerts. I have them off. I can always access the app once a day or once a week if I'm curious. Um, behavior tagging. This is where you have a whole lot more activities. This is almost, this seems identical to the activity tab. It just has more information. So if I want to say I'm jumping rope, or we'll say I'm cycling for a while, it's the exact same interface. Start, it counts down, I'm off to the races. When I'm done, hold and press pause and then resume or end. And of course, this is too short to be recorded. So this is, all, this is an expanded version of the activity page. And then the last, settings. This is where you want to, you want to occasionally check for updates okay and um this first one to begin let's go from the top the units if you're in a different country and you don't want to use feet or pounds you can change that to metric or whatever um show status and notification so i'll get a little notification in, on my phone saying when it's connected i can check for updates and it's up to date this is very important. If you experience a certain error message or a problem, you can send a little message to, to the support team. And here's your app. You can select to send your app log. And about. This shows your current version. The algorithm, I guess this is probably all sent when you send your log. I do not want to enroll in user experience. There, I'll turn that off. So that's pretty much it. Again, it opens up to the status page. Very basic statuses. You tap each to um, get more information. So remember, I tap my sleep. I can even edit my sleep. If I think it's wrong, I can edit it. So very um, basic information on the status page. The activities page oh you can even click here and change the order where you want it to be displayed if you want cancel and um, the activities is real rudimentary it just shows four activities you start and stop to track them this is the big deal the profiles page most of your band settings again are under the band tap the band tons of settings what you want to show on the on the band what you want to track, how you want it to behave when you lift your wrist or turn your wrist. And then you can set up goals. You can connect it to your friends or other apps. And you can do more behavior tag tagging. And then this is your core settings where you check for updates and ask for feedback. Or report an issue. That's basically it. It's pretty, pretty rudimentary. The setup's a little odd. I think they maybe could have combined the activities and the profile behavior tagging. So I hope this is helpful to get you started. Thank you.